Hello everybody. I bet you didn't expect to see me again, did you? No, because my last story was number 20 and I said 20 is plenty. But some of you are not happy at all. No. And then I saw a message from one of you and it said, please can you write a story about granny in lockdown who keeps getting visitors? Well, I couldn't resist that one, but I didn't actually know what you wanted me to say, so I've done my own interpretation. I'm sure lots of you have got grannies that you haven't been able to see during lockdown. They must have missed you so much. So, do you know what time it is? Yes, you do. It's tick tock. It's gin o'clock. Time for a story with Doggy and me. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. Today's story is called Granny in Lockdown. I'm all alone in lockdown. I've been sitting here for weeks. Because I'm over 70, my future's looking bleak. They tell me I am one of those who's going to be at risk. I could catch corona, so I stay home getting pissed. I'm watching from the window for the family to arrive. They think they're doing a good turn to check that I'm alive. Oh God, here they come again. They're walking up my path to wave at me from the window. So I look at them and laugh. Look children, there's the family arriving. We have to social distance and I am happy with that. I don't even want to see them or their snivelling brat because I bloody love lockdown. They think I'm sad and lonely, struggling on my own. I wish they'd all piss off and leave me quite alone. I love this isolation, no family to see. I wish they'd all go home and leave me, let me be. I'm looking out the window, their faces are all happy. Oh, how long will this take? Because now I'm feeling snappy. They're showing me the baby, they're holding him up so I can admire him through the window, but I don't give a fuck. They're expecting me to smile and give a touching look. I'm not going to humour them, so I pick up my notebook. I write down on the pad, he's an ugly little bugger, now piss off, go away. I hold it at the window, they're reading what I say. I mouth through the window, he's an ugly little shit. Looks just like his father and he's a friggin' twit. I don't know what she saw in him. My daughter is the best. She married the scornless fuckwit, said he was better than the rest. I won't pretend to like him. I watch him through the glass. I motion with my finger, shoving up your ass. Oh, children, look at Granny. Oh, isn't she rude? Oh, now go away and leave me, you annoying little cunts. I'll see you when lockdown's over. Let's hope it lasts for months. I bloody love lockdown. It's not my choice to isolate, but I like them behind the door. Thanks for doing my shopping. Now just leave it on the floor. I hope you've brought me lots of booze and lots of sweets and cake. Now go on, bugger off from you. I need a break. I'll call you when I need you. Now fuck off, you boring twats. I want to watch loose women. I've got no time for chat. I love this peace and quiet. I've got a book to read. And so long as I've got alcohol, no visits do I need. I like being on my own. I've got whiskey, I've got food. It's not that I'm ungrateful and I'm not being rude, but I bloody love lockdown. It's peaceful here, you see. With you, it's always chaos, so don't come visit me. Fuck off now, you tossers, and leave me well alone. I'm happy in my company. I don't want you at my home. I settle in my chair again. The television's on. I've got my glass of whiskey. Thank God that they've all gone. There's no one here to bully me, to tell me what to do. I can do what I effing want with no one to answer to. Now I'm on my own again. Thank God this is the life. Then I hear a tapping at the window. Oh God, it's my son and wife. Oh children, look, now the other family have come to visit grandma. Oh, I don't think she's very happy, is she? No. I see their faces at the window. I put my whiskey down. I stub out my fag and try to lose my frown. I get up from my chair, put on a happy face. Oh no, they brought the grandkids. Oh, this is friggin' ace. One of them shows me a picture. I give a little clap. She presses it to the window. What a load of crap. My son made a big mistake because my daughter-in-law's a slut. I can't stand their grotty children. Thank fuck the door is shut. They did bring me booze though and they got me loads of fags. But my son is still a fool and she's a dirty slag. Thinks she's high and mighty. But she used to be a stripper. 
She ain't no posh tart. She's all fur coat and no knickers. I watch them as they leave. Yeah, fuck off down the drive. Don't worry, I'll let you know when I'm no longer alive. I'm an independent granny. I'm happy on my own. So why don't you all piss off and just leave me alone? I bloody love lockdown. The end. Oh, children. What a miserable old granny. I bet your granny's not like that. No. Shall we ask Doggy what he thought about today's story? Doggy? Yes, I agree, Doggy. Doggy says, he hopes your granny is a lovely, warm, cuddly granny, and he hopes you're going to be able to see her soon, and he hopes she's not like this nasty old granny in the story. No, we don't want that. Okay, bye-bye, children. Tick. Talk. It's Jim o'clock.